What up YouTube? This video was taken on this Saturday afternoon, August 24th, 2013. Time right now is uh, 5.30 p.m. And uh, this is a new video series, first video of a new video series that I'm, all, that I'm a little leery about. It's going to be a project video series uh, and this is just a project I'm doing for fun so whether it gets completed or not you know, <laughs> majority of my projects never get completed. So hopefully this one will. But I have a package here from uh, Hawaii, Kalua, Kalua, Hawaii. So we're gonna start this video series off with the unboxing. Let's see uh, packaging, package peanuts. Let's see what it is. This is what it is. Oh, that's a little depressing. <laughs> right on the back, it says made in Indonesia. <laughs> but, uh, so yeah. This is going to be my new project. Um, just like the animatronic Tiki Head, I want to try to animate this. And this time I'm actually going to try to cut the mouth open and make the mouth move. Uh, I've been watching old 64 Goats videos. I mentioned them before. He was doing a ventriloquist motorizing and he got these. There's $3 off this website, American Science and Surplus. So I picked two of these up because I thought Man, you know, I could use them eventually. They operate off of 12 volts, but they're high amperage. High amperage. I guess it's all relative, but they draw two amps. So, as far as power supplies go, you know, you do need a beefier power supply than what I've been using. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so I figured these are a little stronger than servos. But, uh, you see, the problem I had with the... I bought this from the same company I bought the... Tiki head. The Tiki head ended up being a lot heavier when I actually got it, and that's why the service didn't work out too good. But now that I actually have this in my hands, this is actually extremely light. It's made out of a. It almost sounds like it's hollow, but it said it was carved out of wood. But uh, yeah, this is going to be the next project. I'm going to try to make a wall mount it, and uh, it's definitely going to have mouth moving. It may or may not have. Uh, head moving and uh, it's going to have a mounted on the wall it's going to be a, its own standalone I'm going to try to improve the control system from what I used on the Tiki project but it's going to be the same premise on how it gets controlled and uh, yeah I have other ideas on my head so as this video progresses uh, you'll get to see all this craziness unfold well if you want to do these type of projects you can't be afraid to cut them up uh, and <laughs> Man, I was a little hesitant when I bought this Dremel tool, but every time I use this Dremel tool, it's been well worth it. So I started the Dremel tool to get a nice clean cut, and then I ended up having to use uh, the blade wasn't you know deep enough, so I ended up having to use this thing I had laying around. And uh, I'm starting to feel a lot better about this project already. So uh, this is this thing is a lot lighter wood than what I was expecting. You know when I I bought it from the same company that I bought that tiki head and that tiki head I thought was going to be light like this and then it turned out to be heavy so when I bought this and I had those uh, solenoids I thought well those solenoids will be able to handle heavy things but now after feeling this I think I'm going to scrap the solenoids idea just hold on to them and just use servos but uh, yeah this cut, cut is nice and clean so now I just have to figure out how to mount a servo to make them talk okay so I got the mouth uh, movement set up here's what I did so I'm trying to use the kiss method on this project keep it simple stupid so uh, I had this board laying around and I started to use this board instead of the plastic just because I can wood glue it and it'll be uh, 
you know, I can wood glue my joints, which is exactly what I did here. I wood glue a wood glue the joint there, and uh, I don't have to use any of the, you know, any brackets or anything. And uh, this project is light enough that this uh, wood, which I had laying around, I probably should have used that, what do you call it, basel wood, but I didn't have that. I had this laying around for my other projects. So I made my own little uh, servo bracket. It turned out pretty nice. And I went and I soaked this wood in wood glue to give it strength. That's what's happening now. And uh, just a simple mouth movement. Looking at the front, it looks pretty good. It is off a line a little bit, you see right there. But, you know, everyone's going to be looking at this from the front. So they're not going to know it's off a line. I set the camera on the tripod so I can actuate the mouth with my hand so you can see how it looks. So it turned out pretty good. And you see, I uh, drilled a hole so it can come apart easily. So I'm going to end part one of this video here. Got the mouth working. So I guess the next part is I'm going to decide. We don't want to end up mounting this on the wall. I had to decide, and I think I'm going to try to get it to rock. So I had to decide how I'm going to mount it so I can get it to rock back and forth.